Hi, I'm Greg Watson from Watson Real Estate. Um, the latest Real Estate Institute of New Zealand figures have come out. We'll come to those in a moment. But first of all, uh, have you seen or listened to my podcast, Property Matters? It's really specific to our region. It has lots of great information about what's going on. The URL is uh, up the top there, propertymatters.podbean.com, or otherwise uh, there's a link that you can click on to find your way to that. Uh, here's an example here. Recently, a landlord had to pay $38,000 to tenants. There's genuinely good information here that can help you from avoiding trouble. But that's not why, not why we're here today. We're here today to talk about the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand monthly property report, which has just come out. I look, like to look at the median house price year on year to see how things are going. And what I've noticed in the media is they're currently reporting more in terms of month by month because these figures of increase are obviously a bit disheartening. Auckland, for example, has gone up 25% in one year. So the median price is now one and a quarter million. National price up 23.4%. And if we look at New Zealand outside of Auckland, the median house price now 753 up from 600, that's a 25% increase year on year. Really quite incredible indeed. So what's happening uh, near you? Any of these median prices with a red R are record median prices. So the, property, the prices just keep going up and up and up. Look at some of those gains there for some areas like Taranaki, Hawke's Bay at almost 40% over a year. Uh, seems that property is still a very good place to put money. Um, and people who even sell within the period of the Brightline test, uh, even if you're paying tax on something like a 37% return, I'm sure that that would be something that would be palatable uh, for many people. Uh, moving on to the uh, our area specifically, Manutu Wanganui up 28.4% in a year, uh, 610 thousand median price. We'll break that down in a moment. I can see there Wellington almost at a million. Very, very close. Shouldn't be long and that's where it will be. If you wanted to uh, pause things and have a look at the change here, what we're looking at here is the volume change compared to last year, how many fewer sales there are. And uh, that's just indicating that uh, things really have, um, have changed somewhat slower market. And this, of course, is, uh, again, the median price changes. You can look across the various districts and uh, compared to last year and also compared to last month. So what's been happening locally, according to Jen Beard, the CEO of the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand, uh, she talks about that 28.4% increase. She says that the marketing and market activity is starting to recover from the August lockdown. Some investors and buyers are acting with a level of caution around the future impact of the loan to value rules and banks are tightening lending to buyers. So the increase of inventory was up 31% in October as people are selling properties. So let's break it down more specifically depending on where you are in our wider region. And again, there's no record median prices here within the region, but they are still uh, still fairly high. You can see the Palmas North at 715, and that's up almost 100,000 in one year. That's close to $2,000 a month, in case you're wondering how that equates uh, and uh, so forth. So then we've got uh, some quite big changes there. Tararua, big change. The median is up 135,000. Um, and that's um, a change of over 40%. Wanganui as well, uh, 405 to 550, uh, and that's a change of $145,000, and that is, again, over $2,000 per month, or around $500 per week. So here's the graph. It's trending upwards. It's accelerating. Um, and I would say, compared to the earlier months of this year, where COVID sort of slowed things down slightly, that's the COVID break there. Uh, but overall, uh, moving along very quickly indeed. Uh, sales volumes um, down a bit historically, but the prices are still very good as a lot of people move into our region. So I hope that's of some interest to you. Uh, what's going to happen? Uh, crystal ball gazing, that sort of thing, you'll see on my podcast, Property Matters podbean.com and if you want to just look up Greg Watson Property Matters it should show up it's available where all podcasts should be um, and 
I'd love to have you. Uh, it's just a short show, about 25 minutes, and is packed full of information that's helpful. Uh, you can listen to that while you're you're out for a walk, while you're in your car, or just if it's properties, a passion, uh, something it's good to listen to anytime. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch up again soon.